Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your time this morning. As the in-house strategy team, we have conducted a detailed analysis of the future landscape with the intent of identifying the next generation of emerging problems in economics and finance. We have applied the design thinking methodology to think outside of the box and envisage what a likely scenario for Woolworths Limited would look like in 2027. For this particular scenario, we have opted to focus on our food business, in particular grocery, as this offers the most exciting and complex challenges for future profitability. On our journey of discovery, we have adopted the lens of a consumer while understanding the broader retail industry and our business. We now enter a journey of discovery. The Australian retail sector has grown considerably over the last 10 years, with the industry increasing in total revenue from $81.1 billion in 2007 to $105.3 billion in 2017. Over the past 10 years, Woolworths market share has reduced from 40.9% to 35.7%. This market share has been predominantly taken up by Aldi. While there has been overall growth in the industry, overall profitability has decreased, largely due to the emergence of hardcore discount retailers like Aldi and the ongoing price war between the duopoly. The following trends and disruptions have been identified. Technological enhancements have cultivated efficiencies through the supply chain with the notable introduction of systems. Self-checkout technology has reduced operating costs through reduction in human capital. Online shopping and home delivery technology is an emerging trend, including the impending entry of Amazon. The Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, or TPPA, will create more export opportunities but may impact domestic supply. Through the voice of the customer, we discover a key perspective by empathizing with the customer. The key drivers of consumer behavior in the Australian supermarket retail industry are population growth has accelerated from 20.8 million to 24.5 million over the past 10 years at an average growth of 1.8% per year. Wage stagnation and decreasing household disposable income with CPI increasing at approximately 2.4% per year for the past 10 years. The consumer is also becoming time poor. They expect convenient shopping with good service provision, low prices and consistency of quality. Each of the mentioned consumer trends are reducing the aggregate demand for supermarket retail and causing a downward shift to the price point. Now let's take a look at Woolworths Limited through a macro lens. We are all familiar with our group structure with our food, drinks and portfolio businesses in Australia and New Zealand. We employ over 205,000 employees and service over 29 million customers per week. This has expanded from 180,000 employees in 2007. We serve 445,000 shareholders, generating $55 billion in sales revenue in financial year 1617. Our share price is tracking at $25.16 as of 29 September 2017 versus 27.6 from 2007. Now noting the externalities associated with both social and political drivers, we have implemented a robust corporate responsibility strategy for 2020 that identifies 17 key goals to improve sustainability and minimize the environmental impact of operations. The three key focus areas are people, planet, and prosperity. Drilling down into our food business, the 2017 annual report indicates that our main area for profitability and growth remains within this sector. In the past 12 months, the food business accounting for $36.4 billion worth of sales in Australia. Online sales grew by 15.8% for the year. Sales per square meter also increased by 1.3% this year to $16,213, driven by the improvement in sales growth. Now let us assess some of the financial implications. Since 2007, Woolworths borrowings have increasingly depended on issuing new debts. This means the current debt equity ratio of 15.5% has been increasing to enable Woolworths to take advantage of low interest rates in Australia during the past 10 years. This has provided opportunities for Woolworths to create, sorry, to, re to reduce its cost of capital down to 5.51%, to 
which is a current weight average cost of capital. This financing mechanism has enabled Woolworths to continue its growth but will need to be monitored as the debt equity ratio will eventually reach a risk threshold. With regard to past performance, year on year growth rate is negative for the past five years and the most recent earnings are below average. In terms of future growth analysis, earnings are expected to exceed the low risk growth rate next year and in three years time. Additionally, going forward in the short term, Woolworths is not expected to perform strongly as return on equity in three years is estimated to be below 20%. The short term or one year commitments are greater than its holdings of cash and other short term assets. However, cash and other short term assets cover its long term commitments. So what does this mean? Our business needs to increase efficiency to increase capital to invest into future change initiatives. Our responsibility is to ensure the longevity of our business, noting pending disruption and continued economic pressures. We are committed to our customer and ultimately generating profit for our shareholders. So our challenge statement is, how do we revolutionize our food business to achieve a sustainable and lean operation that mitigates disruption while enhancing the customer experience? We will tackle this challenge through the following concept and prototype. Firstly, to reduce human capital costs across all store locations and logistic nodes. Secondly, to invest capital into artificial intelligence and automation through customer interface and logistic support mechanisms. Thirdly, integrate AI and automation to promote lean logistics or end-to-end -end processing. Maintaining customer interaction through the use of AI or virtual customer assistance in store. Fourthly, increasing online grocery capability to compete with disruption from Amazon. And lastly, continuing the voice of customer feedback loop in conjunction with voice of supplier and voice of team. The impact of successfully implementing the strategy will result in significant operational efficiencies driven by a reduction in human capital. For the purpose of demonstrating this impact for Woolworths, we have prepared an indicative net present value or NPV model. To build the model, we have assumed that over the next 10 years, each store will reduce the number of employees by 50%. We have also assumed that this impact will be incrementally transitioned over the coming 10 years. Using a discount rate of 8.12%, our model shows the NPV of this impact is valued at $1.2 billion in present value. The purpose of providing this additional analysis is to create a platform for a detailed business case to be developed for the significant investment required in artificial intelligence. The consumer demand for high quality product and produce combined with increasing competition on price from Aldi and Amazon will put downward pressure on the price. Efficiency and sustainability will increase the necessity to adopt lean operations. Integration of AI and technology will further enable increased profitability by decreasing labor costs as a percentage of revenue. In 2007, Wages represented 9.3% of total revenues, and this increased to 10% in 2017. By 2027, we are anticipating it will be 5% due to the 50% decrease in employees. Disruption by Amazon, enabled by the low-cost and high-yield business model, will, will enable them to secure approximately 10% of the market share by 2027. With the adoption of our proposed concept, we anticipate Woolworths maintaining its dominant position in the market with market share of 29% in 2027. However, we need to be cognizant of the risks associated with IP, public perception, externalities, human factors, and the shifting landscape of global politics and economics. For example, Donald Trump withdrew the US from the TPP agreement, which caused significant delays to the agreement being finalized delaying opportunities for local Australian producers to expand their exporting practices. While Woolworths has a robust contemporary strategy, it is imperative that we invest time, resources and intellect into fostering the business to best deal with emerging problems of the future. While 2027 is a decade away, we must now engage in change management initiatives to reduce our cost structures and become lean through integration of AI and technology. Moving forward, our customer remains our number one focus, 
so we will not compromise service provision or our value offer. In fact, we will continue to enhance it while concurrently appeasing our shareholders through generous dividends. By thinking outside the box and challenging the status quo, Woolworths will be postured for longevity and success while continuing to serve our customers for generations to come.